Hi, my name is Sam Dhanishekaran and uh, welcome to this Oracle Database 12C New Features video series. In this video, we will take a look into a new feature called CloneDB. What is a CloneDB? Okay. So in a regular uh, database environment, it's very common to make a copy of production environment for testing. For example, let's say this is production environment and the data files reside here. Let's say the data file is around one terabyte. Okay, so what, what happens um, when someone wants us to refresh a copy of production to a test machine for testing okay so what happens is we build a new test machine or we use an existing test machine okay so this is production and this one has one terabytes okay and we copy the data over here through different methods and we build the database here right so this also will be one terabyte if it's an identical copy this will be one terabyte so imagine the space required for one such copy doubles right from one terabyte of production to one terabyte for test also right and also the time it takes to copy is also more right because you have to copy the copy almost this one terabyte of data even though you may not be transferring one terabyte because this could be compressed but still here it will still occupy one terabytes of data okay so what oracle does with clone db is it has simplified the creation or the refresh of a test server okay and also using this clone db feature you can reduce the amount of space needed for a test copy and still be able to access the entire data which came from production interesting right so how that happens okay. let's do this okay broad test okay so data is here one terabyte okay let's say I keep the backup of production here in a NFS location okay so let, let me say I keep it on u01 production backup okay so in this NFS mount I keep the backup of the production okay depending upon the type of the backup the size would not be one terabyte it would be you know it could be uh, depending upon the compression factor it could be even 250 GB or whatever okay so we keep the backup file here the backup when I said depending upon the type of the backup you know we could do an online backup or we can do an offline backup okay so these two backups the we could achieve uh, compression when I say online backup again it I mean uh, the regular online backup using rmen or uh, offline backup which is a full backup rmen or we can make a copy but again copy uh, when you do an rmen copy then uh, the size required would be the same okay 
So let's say you know I have a backup file here. I mean I have a backup of production system here. So I can use this. I can build a test server using this backup. Okay. So what I can do is I can create. Okay, let me say u zero two test. Uh, let's say data or something. Okay, I create one more volume. Okay, and I clone this database. Right, uh, Oracle uh, in twelve C it's giving uh, uh, Oracle has given a, a separate script for cloning, or you can use the old manual method where you know you can. Uh, 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 create a trace file and uh, uh, get the create database statement and then you can clone okay the important point is when you create a clone database you know you obviously give a separate database name and you give a separate location for the log files right and that would be u0 to test data but the important thing is you would give this backup location i mean the productions backup location as your data file location so now when you start this test database it starts with the backup data files okay the backup files actually they are not same as the data files here right it starts with the backup files as its data files okay and once uh, that's done you clone these backup files into data files this is you are not copying these backup files but instead there is a command where you it's kind of like a clone rename which is basically for each and every data file you create i mean for each and every backup file you create a data file for backup file 1 you create a data file 1 for backup file 2 you create data file 2 i'll explain why we do this so these backup files are the base and these data files are the clone data files are based on these backup files now how do we achieve full functionality based on some backup files okay so when this database opens it has these backup files as its core to read and everything when it wants to write some data it cannot write on these backup files so instead it would write on these data files right just the change vectors like the changed data would be written here so when for subsequent operations it's going to get data from the backup files as well as the data files and you can also find out there are oracle gives new dictionary views where you can find out which data gets read from these backup files and which data gets read from these clone data files okay so the modified data will be here and the backup data remains the same and the interesting thing would be using this single backup set you can create multiple clone databases like test 2 test 3 test 4 so you are greatly reducing the space required for such clones or such refreshes so next time if someone says okay can you refresh um, my test box can you refresh a production into my test test box so you can just do it by creating a clone database 
to the backup file right and you can actually create multiple clone databases so when you drop a clone database it will drop this thing so your backup file will not be modified at any point of time interesting right so that's the reason this is uh, uh, number two in my new features oracle 12 oracle database 12c new features video series thank you for watching